have not one, but eight short guard builds to show y'all today. Some of these builds will be 6-1, 6-3, and 6-4. Some will have Hall of Fame Limitless Range. Some will have Hall of Fame Speed Booster. Some will even get Contact Dunks. Some will have amazing pass accuracies. And some will even have solid defense. But regardless, all these builds will have high shooting and playmaking stats. So hopefully this video gives you some options you need to help you get closer to making your 2K24 build. So subscribe to the channel if I help you out at all in today's video. Drop a like for 2K24 streams and videos. And let's get into build number one. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H back at it with yet another banger y'all make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button now i got a bunch of guard builds in today's video the first clip i'm going to show here is basically just upgrading your ball handle and your three-pointer i'm going to be honest and you're going to see what happens by the way uh i'm going to be honest uh, y'all short guards got patched this year man it's looking bad for y'all y'all are going to have to sacrifice not only some stats but probably a whole category of stats if you want a high ball handle and a high three-pointer on these guard builds for threes and most of y'all are probably not going to be able to play twos with any of these builds uh, maybe one of two of these in this game in this video but yeah most of these small guard builds especially with ball handle and three-pointer very high you're not gonna even be able to touch the twos with uh, those builds yeah because pass accuracy is just so expensive three-pointer so expensive ball handle so expensive the main stats y'all need are just so expensive in this builder okay now if you are a stage threes guard I would recommend something to you now I don't have a 5.9 or 5.10 build in this video let's go ahead and recommend to y'all to just at least try and look at the five nines and five tens when you get the game okay so all my stage guards out there just look at them because i think i have a prediction of them being met up anyways look at upgrade my three to a 97 and then i'm upgrading my ball handle y'all and look at how fast my overall is going up i'm already at 75 um and all we have i mean bro look at, it's going up one overall every time i go over on the ball handle i mean y'all can rewind and see that every time i went plus one ball handle it went plus one overall like it's still doing it 97 three-pointer 95 ball handle and i'm a 90 overall already now this is the first build i'm going to show now i'm going to show literally eight guards so y'all can screenshot and compare to them but this is just a bunch of small guards that i saw some people make and two of them are the ones i made but yeah here's a random guard build right here this is some of the best defense you're gonna get if you want high playmaking and shooting i mean look at this build this build has no driving dunk y'all no driving dunk it doesn't even have that high of an acceleration. The speed is not that high. And look at this, bro. This is insane. And a lot of these YouTubers are recommending a bunch of point guard builds with like a 60 pass accuracy, 65 pass accuracy. No, bro. That's just not realistic. If you're going to make a small guard that is going to be able to play threes and fives and maybe twos if it has some kind of defense like this build. And even this build should probably stay away from twos with a 25 block and a 26 interior, which is just the, the reality of these small guard builds um you're you gotta have a pass accuracy man you gotta have at the bare minimum an 80 pass accuracy in my opinion if you're gonna be a smaller guard build but anyways yeah this build gets gold limitless range 96 three-pointer 94 free throw 84 midi uh it does get hall of fame green machine hall of fame guard up hall of fame catch and shoot no driving dunk though 72 lap 81 steal so at least you don't have to get back door too much maybe you can get a couple lanes right uh the 70 perimeter defense you're not at least you're not gonna get shot straight over if you're on your guy uh but other than that i mean bro i'm telling you 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 just don't make basically my advice to you is if you're looking for smaller guards with high defense i, I think you may as well just make like a six five six six okay there's no point when i say smaller guards i mean like six three and six maybe six four and below so yeah I, I just wouldn't even recommend making these builds if you want to have like good defense because even at these small heights if you upgrade your defense let's be honest your defense is still gonna be terrible okay bro anyways let's just move on to the second build i'm yapping a little too much on this one build number two i feel like every time we get to build number two in all these build videos it's just the best build in the video uh but yeah build number two this is probably the best build uh or one of the best builds that you're gonna see in this video because it, at least it has you know a good defensive stat you know if you know you're not gonna get a lot of good defensive stats on these builds okay you know you have the 85 perimeter defense so you're gonna get the defensive badges that come along with that perimeter defense right you're gonna get the 92 ball handle you're gonna get the 90 speed with ball so you're gonna have gold speed booster and 87 pass accuracy which is gonna unlock a bunch of good pass styles so you're gonna be able to pass fast you got a 90 acceleration 85 speed so you're gonna be quick with it right you got good stamina you got an 86 three-pointer though so the three-pointer is a little low to sacrifice having one defensive stat that's high 
and contact dunks so you get an 87 driving dunk and on these shorter builds you do get an extra contact dunk with that so you get like two contact dunk packages with that so you get the contact dunks you get gold speed booster you get a very high pass accuracy you do get bronze limitless range you get a decent midi you get an 85 perimeter so this is not bad this is not bad i feel like this is the build that most people should be making unless like you're a super competitive short guard build that's just gonna go no defense okay i feel like this is the one you should go with if you want to have like kind of like a balanced all around shorter guard build this is one this is kind of the best it gets unless you don't want to go context you could easily you know bump the dunk down to like an 82 maybe an 80 and then up the steel and then this is perfect if, if that's what you want to do so yeah I would recommend this one if you want to get some kind of defense as well. You know, get gold handles for days, gold speed booster, gold hyper drive, bunch of good gold uh, playmaking badges, bunch of good shooting badges, and at least some defensive badges with that 85 perimeter defense. Now we're starting to get to those builds that just have no defense at this point. So from here on out, I mean, if you want to make a twos build, either make one of those first two builds or maybe edit some of these future builds that I'm about to show and put up some defense or just go make a taller build. Simple as that. Go make a 6'5" go make a 6'6", six, six, maybe a 6'7", six, 6'8", six, for the twos, if that's where you want to play. Otherwise, you can get away with no defense on threes and fives if you know what you're doing, if you're a good player, and if you have other good teammates around you. Otherwise, if you're not, if you don't fit any of those categories, I would recommend one of the first two builds. Otherwise, you're going to have to get in the builder, maybe adjust one of those first two builds, lower the dunk, and up something else on the defensive stats if you think you need more defense. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this build right here. This is insane for an offensive build. You get an 87 pass accuracy, and these guard builds need to have pass accuracy. Do not listen to anyone that is recommending you a point guard build that is 6'4 or shorter under an 80 pass accuracy. Do not listen to them. They are trying to set you up, okay? 87 pass like you see you're gonna get a bunch of great passes out so that 85 speed with ball 92 ball handle so you're gonna get gold speed booster you're gonna get gold unpluckable you are only gonna get silver handles for days but you get a 92 three-pointer which is gonna give you silver limitless range you get an 80 mid range and you get an 89 driving dunk that's a lot of contact dunks for this build this is the one of the best 6-4 builds i've seen obviously it has no defense though but yeah if you want to run up the threes with a 6-4 this is one of your better options. Honestly, maybe you could bump the pass accuracy down to an 80 if you want to do that. Get the bump, the dunk up to the 90 so you get gold precision dunker and then maybe up the acceleration or maybe the steal for bronze interceptor or maybe the perimeter defense for some more defensive badges. There's easy adjustments with these builds. Y'all got to stop looking at the screenshots now that some YouTubers are just throwing out there and think, okay, Maybe I don't like that. Okay, I could easily slide that down and slide this up. Like there's easy adjustments you can make to your own liking, okay? But yeah, this is a pretty solid 6-4 build. Once again, another disclaimer, a lot of these short guard builds are not gonna be nearly as good all around builds as the taller heights like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 Like there is gonna be massive holes in these shorter guard builds because a lot of these stats that these shorter guard builds usually get, the high ball and all the high three, are just so expensive especially pass accuracy so you're gonna be losing in some categories so with the next build we're gonna show you guys what it looks like to try to make a 6-3 or just a short guard build with hall of fame speed booster because i'm sure hall of fame speed booster we don't know how good it's gonna be we didn't really get to test it at community day the hall of fame speed booster might just be that batch okay uh now i know i said earlier that if anyone's giving you a 75 pass accuracy guard they're setting you up so just make sure you if you do make a hall of fame speed booster guard don't do what i did in this video don't do it do not do 75 pass accuracy go 80 go at least 80 so you can get stephen curry passed out but anyways you see i'm trying to figure out how to get the hall of fame speed booster this was me at community day recording it so you need a 95 ball handle then you need a 91 speed with ball then you need to upgrade either your excel or speed which you're gonna probably upgrade regardless so you need a 93 excel and boom there we go hall of fame speed booster that's gonna be insane i really wonder how good this badge is gonna be uh i said in a couple other build videos ago i wouldn't go out on your way uh to get a hall of fame badge unless it was hall of fame uh bulldozer a hall of fame limitless range but i haven't really seen hall of fame speed booster we haven't seen it in action so i can't say if it's worse if it's worth going out of your way to get or if it's not worth it i really don't know 
And then as you can see, we're upgrading the three pointer. Now the three pointer, you need high 99 three pointer for Hall of Fame low this range. And we're gonna show some different 99 three pointer builds. And y'all are gonna see how ridiculous expensive uh, it is to get the 99 three pointer build. Once you get past like a 90 in any stat, it just gets crazy expensive. It affects your overall at an insane alarming rate okay um so yeah this is the build right here at this point i should have just gone 80 pass accuracy but you know i decided to you know put the perimeter defense to a 75 and let me know i mean this ain't too bad obviously i want the pass accuracy to be at 80 but you get 96 3 you get a hall of fame speed booster there's no dunk the defense is i'm telling you they pass these small guard builds it is so hard to make a balanced small guard build in 2k23 you could literally get all the stats you wanted and quick drops and you could get a high steal and perimeter defense on these shorter builds you can't do it this year man these are going to be some of the hardest builds to make you're basically just going at, at one point y'all at small guards if you really want to make a small guard you're just going to have to just say okay i'm not going with no defense that's really just what you're going to have to end up doing otherwise maybe upgrade like only perimeter defense or just make a taller build simple as that but yeah this build gets gold dead eye gold blinders gold limitless range uh get some good hall of fame shooting bad is a good hall of fame speed booster yeah like i said go 80 pass accuracy it doesn't get any dunk uh to be honest that it, it's kind of crazy to think about i don't know man uh but yeah it gets comparisons to steph curry uh trey young and nick van exel and all these builds are basically called the same they're all called three point shot hunters it's like impossible to get another build name uh damn near some of these are like two way three levels something but yeah uh that's the hall of fame speed booster build let's move on to the next one so now we got 299 three-pointer builds to compare to you and this is insane to watch if you don't have the game yet this is definitely gonna be a good build to watch me make to really see how expensive these small guards get especially when you try to get a 99 three-pointer probably one of the most expensive stats in this game so once again we're going six three we're going minimum weight we're going minimum wingspan okay we're gonna try to get this 99 three-pointer and we're gonna try to see what we can get away with it and then after i make this we're gonna compare it to another 99 three-pointer build that i think y'all are gonna probably like a tiny bit better depending on what your preferences are because there are advantages and disadvantages to going with my 6399 to compare to the other 6399 but anyways yeah let's go minimum weight let's go minimum uh wingspan you can see how all the other wingspans look but anyways the first thing we're doing maxing that stamina of course uh we're gonna up the speed up the accelerators because once again we need at least gold speed booster and if y'all didn't know gold speed booster is attached to ball handles speed with ball and acceleration or speed so we got to upgrade that and you're going to see me upgrade my physicals what i need then i'm going to upgrade my playmaking what i need and then you're going to see me upgrade my shooting to 99 just yeah you know, just wait and see so we got 75 pass here nothing crazy barely any speed with ball 83 just for gold speed booster. look at my overall look at my overall i am a 75 overall okay 75 overall now i'm going to upgrade my three to a 99 all we have is a little bit of physicals and then just the ball handling requirement. Look at, now I'm 98. Now I'm a 98. We went from a 75 to a 98 overall. Just upgrading the three-pointer. Now, obviously, we get all these great Hall of Fame shooting badges. You know, we get Hall of Fame Limitless Range, Hall of Fame Agent Threes, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Hall of Fame Comeback Kid, Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Blinders, Hall of Fame Everything okay but bro we're already at 98 <laughs> we don't even have an 80 pass accuracy dog it's too expensive it's too expensive now the other 99 three-pointer bill i'm going to show you with a pass accuracy but i just had to show you all that clip because we literally went from a 75 to a 98 just because we wanted a 99 three-pointer and we don't have any defense we don't have any finishing we don't even have that good of physicals look at i'm trying to get my acceleration up a little bit we get hall of fame spot finder so this build right here it's every hall of fame shooting badge every single one uh 6 3 99 3 it gets steve francis it gets a gold speed booster it gets a high excel but it doesn't get a dunk it gets hall of fame handles for days as well and of course we go ahead and make the build it's compared to steve nash trey young and steph curry which is actually really good comparisons for a guard build 
uh but yeah the three-point shot hunter of course again but let's go ahead and compare this to the other 99 three-pointer build i have in this video for y'all on the left is the build we just made on the right is another build with pass accuracy so you know it's the same defensive stats no, i think i actually put a 26 defensive rebound on the other build but yeah same defensive stats you actually get a higher excel on the one on the right both 99 stamina the one on the they both get a 99 uh three-pointer one on the right actually gets a higher free throw both don't have a dunk and the one on the right doesn't get a 95 ball handle so it doesn't get steve francis but it still gets gold speed booster 84 speed ball and 87 pass accuracy so if you don't if you don't care for steve francis go with the build on the right if you want a 99 three-pointer but if you want steve francis you're gonna have to go with something like on the build on the left but yeah this just shows you how crazy a 99 three-pointer could be as in how expensive it could be you're not gonna have any finishing or defense if you want a 99 three-pointer with at least the 92 dribble moves you're not gonna have any defense or finishing so that's just how the builder is i'm not gonna lie it, it's tough a lot of y'all to that you wanted to go with short guards you're probably gonna have to go with some taller builds to be honest maybe six five six 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 seven maybe even six eight uh but yeah let's move on to the last build so this last build is a six one and it's the highest acceleration guard build we have in the video it gets a 95 acceleration it actually does get a dunk high pass accuracy so you have an 87 pass accuracy you get all the pat you get a lot of the pass styles most of them in the game you get gold speed booster with a 92 ball handle 83 speed ball but you don't get the francis you get a 94 three-pointer which is going to give you silver limitless range an 82 dunk which is not bad i'm pretty sure that gives you the an anthony edwards dunk package if that means anything so not horrible the steel is a 60 so you get bronze interceptor so at least you can somewhat guard a back door if you're guarding corner on threes and fives uh maybe get the interception uh and then you have a 95 acceleration 99 stamina so this build is actually pretty solid i would say probably one of the better builds depending on what you prefer in this video but yeah definitely the highest acceleration build obviously doesn't get hall of fame speed booster like one of the other ones we showed in today's video but yeah once again if you're a stage guard try to look at the five nines and the five tens otherwise let me know in the comments what are your guys' opinions on these short guard builds are you guys just gonna say screw it, i still want to make a short guard and just go mad lower on the ball handle on the three-pointer are you gonna try to make one are you gonna go taller let me know your opinions because personally i'm not really gonna make one of these unless it's just like solely for threes or maybe i want to make a content build with a 99 three-pointer otherwise i'm probably not gonna make one of these builds uh that are shorter but these are the best ones i wanted to show y'all the best options y'all small guards have you know usually i do upload videos where i only show the builds i make but this is community day builds i'm just showing y'all what's out there okay what's you're capable of making in 2k24 anyways if i helped you out at all if i gave you any good information that helped you make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 2k24 content and streams on the way let's get it man i'm out y'all peace